St. Tammany Parish Coroner's Office says they may have a lead to follow in that discovery of a human skull in a storage unit from earlier this week. WDS reporter Eli Brand spoke with the coroner about where that investigation stands right now and the next steps moving forward. Eli. So the immediate next step is to use DNA to try and figure out who that skull belonged to. But Dr. Charles Preston says this actually is not the first time he's seen something like this happen. The skull is uh, in very good shape. It is clearly human remains. St. Tammany Parish Coroner Dr. Charles Preston says the whole saga started two days before Christmas when the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office called to let him know a person who won a storage locker auction in Slidell found a human skull among its contents. Preston says sometimes these things can end up being animal bones, but not this time. This really becomes a case like every other case now that we have created an investigation inside of our office and our number one goal is to try and identify who these human remains belong to. The coroner's office has the skull right now and plans on conducting the DNA analysis soon in collaboration with the LSU Faces Lab. Dr. Preston says that process will include comparing DNA with a known database and using an in-house cold case investigator to search a missing persons database for a match once the skull is identified. In the meantime, retired NOPD police captain Mike Kahn says law enforcement will be working to try and figure out how that skull ended up there and if a crime was committed. It could really be anything. It could be a potential trophy from a killing. It could be from a cemetery. There's really, you don't know what you don't know at this point. So you really have to start the investigation with trying to figure out who rented the storage unit, if there's any video of that person coming back and forth. Dr. Preston says while the investigation is still in its infancy, his office may already have a lead. I did receive a call from somebody who is concerned that a relative's grave had been raided and is missing parts. And so we're trying to work with that family to uh, see if we can make a rapid identification or exclusion, which is just as important. And Preston says it's not necessarily normal, but he does occasionally get calls of people finding bones. He says it usually does end up being animal bones, but he'll get around one to two calls a year that do end up being human remains. Reporting live, Eli Brand, WDSU News. Well, the identity of the person who bought the storage unit is still unknown tonight.